Well, this is what we're dealing with, and this is why we're building the new organ. It's because this space here, you cannot put a pipe organ in. There's not even a place to put the blower. So there's no way we could really put a pipe organ in here without doing some major um, work. And it would have to be custom. There's no way we could get a built organ. And if we were to put, you gotta think about it, you, you at least need this much space. Well, first step is actually research. Uh, and that all starts in these blue books here. This is basically, I carry these around wherever I go. If I'm traveling somewhere, this, these books come with me. And there's no particular order that things are in here. Uh, I'm doing some programming there for websites, and a few other little things. But this is where the organ started, actually, this very page. And I knew that there was going to be one thing that was going to be the biggest problem, and that was what I just showed you in the church, and that was the stop, stop pulls. I started off with one of these little buttons. This has a knob that goes on here and you, you pull it out. And the cool thing is, is those knobs on that stop pull in the church actually screw onto here and I thought about that. But then I started thinking again. And uh, I couldn't imagine, you know, 15 of these being pulled and listening to this popping sound. So I ditched that idea. And um, I went to something else that I was more familiar with, and that was these little, these little relays. They're not, they're kind of like relays, but they're not really. They're, they're switches, they're micro switches with a little handle on it. I, we need to focus on this section. So this is the first part, and that is getting the keyboards stacked. Uh, again, there's a lot of research that needs to go on. So that moved me to this here. And the Organ Guild has proportions for everything. Now mine are gonna be just slightly, but not by much, taller and a little bit longer. So where this is calling for four and a half inches, mine is probably around five. So it's about an, a half inch further back. Now, I'm not expecting any high professionals to be coming in and playing this thing um, for concerts. It is for us to use. So I don't need them to be exactly perfect, but if they're off by a half an inch, I'm fine with that. And the only reason it's off by a half an inch is because of the keyboards that I'm using are, um, th these are not MIDI keyboards. Each one I'm using is a MIDI keyboard, and I have them back here. Here they are here. Now I have three, four, excuse me. I have four because two go into my room, and three, which will be these longer ones, go in the church. I only have two right now. I'm about ready to order the second one because I want to make sure this was going to work before I did that. So I did build a mock-up and that was using the double uh, that you saw here. These double here. Um, and I'll explain what that is here in a second. But like everything else I do, I go through and I do measurements before I put it onto the computer. So this is FreeCAD and this is where I uh, do all my, my work before I send it off to the CNC machine over there. As this is not a how-to because uh, I am still learning how to use FreeCAD, I'm still learning how to use the CNC machine, and every day I find something new with FreeCAD. So the forums are out there, YouTube is there, the internet is there. You can learn this. If I can learn how to use FreeCAD, or at least, you know, get as far as I am now, you can do this too. You just need to come up with a project and do it. Um, I'm having some problems with my mouse right now. I cannot. It's not the mouse, it's FreeCAD, and I don't know what the deal is. There's a lot of people that don't like FreeCAD, especially if they've been using something like, uh, what is it, um, some of the more professional ones that cost like $1,000 a month. I use FreeCAD because it's free, and I have learned to use it, but it's got problems like this. I cannot move this object. FreeCAD, you've gotta fix this. Um, I don't know if it's my computer, or if it's FreeCAD. I think it's FreeCAD because I have this installed on three different computers and all three of them are doing the same thing, only on Mac though. So I can't speak for Windows, but what I can do is scroll out and then scroll back into sections. So you can see I've got everything set when the 
main image is green, that means all constraints, and the constraint is basically saying this image cannot be moved. It means that everything has a position that is set. Uh, I have done that with this object here. I have plenty of different, we can go back and open, and you can see from here, this is all the organ project files. And we're gonna go over this because a lot of this has been pre-recorded. I'm just doing it in sections now so that you all can follow along. But there's all the projects for this organ build. And this is the very first one that we need. And that is the, um, the organ uh, key, uh, keyboard holder. Now, I did do a, um, a test piece that's going into my room. So it's really not a test piece if I'm using it, right? Here it is. This is, it is that, just without the third tier, this little section here. It's a two tier. And I've changed the way that it looks. You would think that I went from this to this, but I actually went from this with these reinforcements here to this. Um, I can still add reinforcements in here, but what I was having a problem with, because we were off grid here, the power would do some weird stuff and it would um, mess up the cutting process and I really didn't want to have to cut these. There's a lot of them that need to be cut and uh, I decided to just eliminate the hole here and I can always come back and cut a piece of wood and glue them in between. This one actually you can see has the uh, rectangles ready to go. This are presets because the organ's going to need presets and on the official organ that's going in the church the presets will be mocked, in other words, copied. So whatever presets are here will be here so you can reach them from top manual down and this manual here. I'm probably gonna space them out a little bit more having, um, and switch this around because this is the clear stop. So this clears all stops. These are the two banks and these are the presets. Since I'm using the small keyboards in my room, this is one, this was, this was designed for this keyboard. So sharing my files off of FreeCAD for you to do this, you have to buy this keyboard. Um, any of the variant, variants of this keyboard. So this is a 49 and that one down there is a 61. So you can use the same um, brand of keyboard as long as it's a GX plus that number and nothing else. No number before it or letter and no number or letter after this um, 49 or 61. I think they make one bigger than this, I'm not sure. So that slides in. No, come on, no. There we go. Uh, videos in the future are gonna have a uh, tripod. There we go. You can see how that locks in there. Let's turn to the side here so you can see that. See how that locks in there really nice? It's not going anywhere. And you can see I've left space here, and that is for the presets. This preset actually is going to be extended up, so this is nice and flush, and then it will go all the way down, so you won't see any of this here. So it'll be like a finished product. Now for the top keyboard. And this is designed that you lift up the back, and then the front slides right in. And there you go. So, we need to look at uh, making the three tier now. Yep, that didn't work out right. That one kind of worked. Power problems. That did not work at all, but I got some good pieces out of it. This one was perfect. I'm glad I eliminated the holes. So there we go. Uh, you remember I said something about being off grid and having some issues? Well, this is the first one. Came out how it was supposed to because I was gonna use these rods that were gonna go through and connect to the next one. Well, that's fine, but it started getting cloudy and um, this happened. You can see what it was supposed to do 
but it shifted everything this way. And not only did it shift the whole piece, it also cut off. You see, if I line this up oh, like that, you see, everything looks perfect right here though. That's great. Let's flip it over. Yeah, it cut this whole section off back here. So my plan is to put a backboard here, probably all the way down. And we'll do these in threes. So this will be one side of the keyboard, this will be the other. With the ones that are the mistakes, like that one, will be in the middle. So that it doesn't rely on um, one that's too short. Because remember, this one is slightly short due to that uh, issue. You can see here, it ends there. So if I put it in the middle, it'll just rely on the bottom plane. So there'll be a board across the bottom. So now we're going to set the keyboards up onto these three so you get an idea what it looks like. And remember, one of the keyboards is going to be shorter than the other because I don't have the long one yet. So there you go. We've got all three layers. This is not stable by any means because there's nothing keeping the uh, supports straight. As you can see, some of them are leaning just slightly. But this gives me a better idea of how things will look. And this is pretty neat. And it does fit in the church. I tested that earlier. Uh, the back part is going to be just a little bit higher, but I think we can fix that. All right. So the next time you see me, uh, we will be taking these pieces here and mounting them together, uh, namely the back part and the bottom. That way it can form a frame so that our keyboard doesn't fall over. Because as you saw, it was a little bit uh, say wiggly. Um, so that's it. That's part one. Uh, you kind of saw what it's going to look like. I got to order the other keyboard. Those are the small keyboards there. But we'll order the big keyboards, which are hiding out there. Also clean up my office. It is looking quite a mess right now. Um, I won't even show you that side over there. Uh, but we'll get that uh, cleaned up, get all the other mess cleaned up in here. And then um, I'll give you a tour of the office and I will show you some of what I've been doing on my other channel. But remember, go to the, the Desert Monk uh, here on YouTube if you want to see what life is like at the monastery outside of the builds. So that's it for now. God bless you all and see you soon.